Zion Williamson isn't being talked about enough, in my opinion. Due to his health, he arguably should be on bust watch, given the hype he had coming into this league. I agree. Oh, man. Is it time to release the video? I, <laughs> nah, the video. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, chat, y'all might, you might have to release memberships just so y'all can watch that video. Ain't no bullshit. I ain't getting that smoke for free. But you know what, man? I'll, 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 I'll say right. he's on watch. He's on watch. Because this is the scenario, Sage. This is literally the scenario I'm talking about. Uh, like, my, my, my go-to scenario is always, yo, if LeBron, with all the hype he came into the league, ended up only being a one-time All-Star, what is that? Zion. <laughs> <laughs> Zion coming into the league, a generational talent, once-in-a-lifetime player, best prospect since LeBron until one became. But, um... Yeah, mm. best prospect since LeBron has all the hype in the world. And we are, what, like four years into his career? Four or five? You've only had one season where you played more than 30 games. You had one really good year. And even and when you play, you are solid because you you are that talented. Like your, floor, like your floor is so high because of the talent that you have. But I ain't going to lie, man. This is exactly what I'm talking about. The Pelicans, their franchise that, yo, this is our franchise player for the next generation. And for him to pan out the way that he's had, I don't know how you look at that and say he's not a bust dog. This supposedly generational player can't even put on the fucking jersey and play games? Come, I don't I don't even know, man. I, I that's tough, man. We we know how bus conversations go. So to give my dog a little bit of defense in these bus conversations, we both have the same mindset that it's more so about expectation rather than if you can actually hoop or not. Some of you don't think Michael Beasley's a bus. Some of you don't think uh, several players who worked at the level that we thought they would be, like Wiggins, for example, but um, they can still hoop, so they're not a bust at all. That's not where he's coming from. He's coming from the idea of who Zion was supposed to be and what he is today. And uh, I can't go that level. I think Zion is still too good for that. But I will say this he is the watch. saddest. That's it. This He's on watch. It, it, it's the saddest I've ever been to say I've been correct about a take. And my take has been, yo, Jaws looking like he was the right pick all along. And I ain't want to be right. I said back then I didn't want to be right. I'm saying right now I don't want to be right. But it's looking like it, man. He just... And I'm scared about John. That motherfucker be leap, leap, like that motherfucker be flying in there. I'm scared about him too. But this is crazy. He just, he just don't be there. Whatever the reason may be, and he's not on some Kyrie swerving shit. I know how y'all be dunking on Kyrie. He's not on that level of just like at any given moment he's gonna do some dickhead shit or something that's controversial or something like that. No, he just for whatever reason he's just not on the court. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy to think about, bro. I, I don't agree, but I'm not mad at it. If Tim Duncan went 6-0 and instead of 5-1 and in the finals, he would be in the combo for GOAT like MJ. You know? No. Because the casual viewer does not see a tween-tween step back, a tween-tween pull-up, none of that. They're going to look at Tim Duncan's game. He played for a boring franchise with a boring play style. They're not going to appreciate it, but they definitely are going to lean on 6-0. and So in terms of people actually saying he's the GOAT, no, they wouldn't do it. But I might be backtracking here a little bit because I'm not going to lie. There'd be some people that'd be like, hey, 6-0, and and this era's better. And LeBron's better than MJ any fucking way. And this nigga still says, so I actually, I'm a backtrack. I can see people saying that he might do it. I can see that. I, I, I don't think people would, I, I think he'd be like 20%. Yes, one every five people, I think one motherfucker would say Tim Duncan in that situation. One out of every 25? No, five. I think one out of every five people, I think one would go 6-0 and in the better era. I think one of them would do it. I don't think four out of five would definitely. Nah, I don't think majority. I think it'd be like a 45-45 MJ Braun thing. And then that 10% of people are like, I mean, Tim Duncan six and out. I thought that's how I think shit would go. I guess. But I feel like it's like, okay, you're in the conversation, but we do not care. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, that, like, that's that's like, like, whoever is fourth this year in MVP race, okay, technically in the conversation. It's probably going to be Tatum. But hey, we we do not care, dog. You you really aren't in the com like you, you you're in the club, but you're really not in the club. You know what I'm saying? Like you're in the perimeter, you're in the outskirts. You know what I'm saying? You're not really getting asked for.
Put it this way, he'd replace Kareem in those conversations. Like you know how yeah, people have yeah, Kareem. Yeah. He, I, that's what I think. That's the clearest way I can say he'd replace Kareem. If AD was actually healthy, three sixty would have been a problem. But everybody wants to blame Russ when at least he shows up and puts effort. Oh, holy hell! First of all, three sixty is crazy. <laughs> three sixty is nuts. But um, two, nah, nah. I can't stand when people put it on AD. I cannot. A- Anthony Davis, yes his health was a detriment to the Lakers but one you're not talking about LeBron enough how about that like let's really talk about it you had Russ and AD out there or you had um LeBron and Russ out there but sometimes you just had Russ and nobody I think that was like a couple games but point is it nobody was there all the time except Russ give him credit but then Russ never really fit with both of them at the same time anyway so it not only was a matter of lebron not being there it was also a matter of when they're all there it ain't gonna fucking work because russ was a guy that he wouldn't he didn't want to take that back seat at that point in time with the clippers he's willing to do it and you see he's playing a lot better but with us he still had that i'm russell westbrook nigga type shit so it was like all right he he wants to dominate the ball and that's taking the ball out of lebron james's hands and when you do that you don't win games a lot I wonder why. So it, it's just, it, nah, maybe I didn't word that the best. Maybe the editor should save me, but nah, nah. And, and to put it all on AD is nasty. LeBron was healthy. And on top of that, Russ and AD wasn't even working like that. It sounded good in theory, but it weren't even working for real. I, I know he's cap because even when he's trying to praise Russ, he can't even say he played good. So moving yeah, on he to showed up he, just, he showed, he showed up, up and put effort. Talking about playing right, dog. what the what the okay pat bev what the fuck go to pat bev <laughs> all right rock lee all right all right like hey out of boy lee all right bro i'm tired of fans and media saying if they're healthy or i'm basing this off if everyone was healthy injuries need to stop being an excuse for a team losing or for fans getting a prediction wrong Random injuries do occur, but also some players have a history and that data needs to be con- and that data needs to be considered. And if you don't want to do that, then don't make excuses and don't get mad when folks like me say I told you so. I completely agree. Completely agree. Um specifically when we have these conversations about rankings and who's better than who. Y'all ain't gonna lie, I'm considering availability in that conversation. Case in point, once again, I'm not trying to dunk on him, but Zion. Zion is is more talented than a lot of players in this league, but when we talk about availability, yo, bro, I'm taking a lot of players that aren't as talented as him just off of that fact alone. I think another person is Kyrie, specifically the Kyrie and Dame conversation. Like, yo, I I understand if you want to say Kyrie's a more well around, uh, I, like I understand if you want to say Kyrie's a better all around player, this that and the third, but yo, I don't I don't care, bro. I don't. He gets injured too much. Same thing with AD. Bam better. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. What? Wait, what? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> no. One, no. <laughs> Two, I'll defend one of your takes. I'm taking Dame any fucking way. What are we talking about? Let them both be healthy. Right, I'm taking Dame. Uh, Three, nah, to add on, it's just to make sure we're not pushing an agenda. Chris Paul, me and you both think he's top 10 talent. We ain't going to say top 10. <laughs> we ain't going to say top 10. Not even close, bro. At the end of the day. He, he can't stay healthy. He, he doesn't have a ring for it. Sad but true. So I, I agree. I agree 100. percent Although saying when AD's healthy, he's better than Tim Duncan is still the funniest shit to do, and I'm gonna keep doing it. We're gonna look back at Jokic's MVPs the same way we look at Nash's. They deserve them, but we're definitely not the best players in the NBA those years. That's literally like 90 percent of MVPs. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, say say that for Harden. <laughs> say 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 that for Harden, say that for Russ, arguably say that for Curry, say that for Kevin Wayne, say that for Derrick Rose. Yo, say that, bro. I don't I, I don't know what to tell you. And B fans, maybe this is the slander you've been waiting for. Duh! Like that that that's been my take this whole time. We don't give a fuck about the MVP award for real. Like we don't. They do. That's fine. We don't. <laughs> we, we we do not care. It's fun to talk about. Once a nigga win the award, we ain't gonna talk about the shit again. We already don't forget Giannis got too. We, we don't care. Michael Jordan is the most protected athlete in sports history. It, 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 
depends. It, it depends what, what you think is protecting Michael Jordan, bro. Like, do you think people just aren't progressive anymore? Because I wouldn't say that. I think people even considering LeBron kind of proves that he's not the most protected. But he has some level of protections. You know, era, people like the old school era. But I wouldn't say, well... You know who it is, Sage? You know you know who it is? And we measured him in this video. It's Tim Duncan, dog. <laughs> what filler you, rings. Man? Filler rings. Oh 99 God. filler ring. Oh, 03. Y'all lucky Kobe and Shaq don't fuck with each other. Filler <laughs> ring. 07. <laughs> okay. You beat 20-year-old Le <laughs> LeBron. 2014, that motherfucker's tired. F filler, filler rings. Why did you filler just start rings. slandering Tim Duncan? I, did, what I don't the care, hell? bro. Because he's too protected, Sage. And I ain't gonna lie, I used to be on the other side of the boat. Switch KG and Tim Duncan. Oh yeah. my yeah. god. I'm gonna, ju I'm gonna just stop it. Oh I'm gonna just stop god. it right there, dog. I'm gonna stop it right there. The Shout out to Kevin Wayne Garnett. I don't crazy. even know KG's middle name. Shout out to Kevin Wayne Garnett, bro. Chat. Comment section, Souls OGs. I want to apologize. Y'all said it in, in hateful terms of who is this do rag boy and why is he on the channel? I have to take some responsibility for ruining Bezos. Bag talk. Now, now KG and the Duncan swaps. Next, he's going to come out with the Dame Curry swap. This dude is running all over the place. I, I, I'm sorry. But can you disprove what I said, though? Oh, my God. Okay. Yes. Like, are, are we are we potting or, like, you just going to say I'm dumb, like, type shit? Come bro, on, bro. I'm come not on. saying you're dumb. Man, I'm just saying, man, this is crazy, bro. Tim Duncan, you know, he's a really consistently great defender, arguably the best defender ever. Um, I feel like you'll miss that a little bit. Not saying KG can't play defense, but I feel like you'll miss some of the plays Tim Duncan could make. Also, whenever you needed him to go out there and score, he, he got it done. Sage, who played in the 05 finals, dog? <laughs> who played in the 05 finals? Ain't it the, uh, ain't, ain't, ain't it, it the, uh, 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ain't yeah. it? Ain't it the? Uh, 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 ain't the? Ain't the Pistons? Who the fuck is it? It was Spur. You asked me this a while ago, and I forgot yeah, again. That's yeah. the only reason I'm under filler, pressure now. Filler, dog. Skip to That's the next not one. Filler. Skip That's not D Wade filler, versus bro. Dirk. <laughs> you know, the Heat versus Mavs. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Filler. Yeah, who played in '99? Let's let's. I'm gonna give you a. Who played in '99? You've asked me this already. Not, exactly. You know, I don't. Exactly. I I started watching basketball in the 2010s. I went back, but I do. I like. I went back to remember arguments, but I Filler. didn't have the. I didn't have the Filler. argument of well, who but did you know Tim who, Duggan but play? You know who won in '98 though? <laughs> you you know who won in 2000 though, right? You know you know who won in 2000 though, right? Because it's my favorite player. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. That's so, so not, you know who won it? You know who won in 06? Yo, wait, I'm just not a major it? Tim do, Duncan do, fan. Do, no, no, no. Do you know who won in 06, though? I started watching basketball right, okay, around okay, then. Okay, okay, who, who won in Who won in 08? You know who? <laughs> and, and don't... <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. And, and let's go to 20... Hey, you know who won oh in 2013. Shout out to Ray. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> You know who won in 2015, 2014 is like, all right, bro. Okay. Uh, all right, I dog. You, 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 got, you got your get bag. Good job, Danny Green. Yo. Ain't nobody care about them rings, bro. Please bro, stop it. this is so wild, Please stop bro. It, bro. I'm, I'm going to be honest. The only ring that would have mattered, the motherfucker choked. What are we doing? Oh, my yo, God. Yo, How did he yo, choke? Yo. How Game did seven. he choke? Hey, hey, see, play the clip. Game seven, wide open layup, misses it. Goes down the court. He called timeout. LeBron ices the game. Back to Ginobili. Inside Duncan. Across the lane. Duncan misses the tip. No good. And box the rebound. And they're not going two for one. It doesn't look like. James pulls up. Puts it in. Four point lead. Stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. We do not care about them rings. Filler ass rings, bro. I'ma come clean before so we can move on. I'ma come clean. My Tim Duncan bag is not the deepest. So it, I am no not the head figure. No one has a deep Tim Duncan bag I am not, to skip I'm, 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 
I'm I'm a tough, I'm not the main guy to argue for Tim Duncan. I educated myself just to make sure. Okay, this is how good Tim Duncan was. Okay, Tim Duncan is capable of this, this, that. Boom. All right. So let me not say something about Tim Duncan that's ignorant. I don't have all the historic facts on Tim Duncan like those off cue. I don't. But and if and I had to, be real, if I was Sage. able to look shit up and shit, I'd be good. <laughs> But reality is, you're just weird. No, this and, is and, crazy and let's be slander. real. This is my last point, and we can move on. His rings don't matter. Unless, no, no, no. They don't. It's not that they don't matter. They're oh just full of God. rings like KDs. I don't know They're what to tell you. But listen, old, listen, bro. listen. Would you know about the 07 ring if it wasn't for LeBron went to the finals that year and didn't have help and couldn't win that ring because he didn't have help? Would no, you didn't really? The Spurs, didn't the Spurs would you mop really up that season? The Spurs was beating the shit out of people. And, and no one cares, dog. But it's because that, that's why, and that's, and that's why, and that's why if he had six rings, it would save him right there. You just made the point for me earlier. The motherfuckers had like 60 wins in 07. Who the fuck? Uh, hold on, bro. Now, now, now I'm actually about to, hold on, bro. Hold on. But let me, <laughs> where, to, where, where, where does playoff bracket at real quick, bro? Hold on. In 07, they would have faced the Pistons, dog. We, you would not care about the Spurs versus. I, I wouldn't, it. but it's true. But it, it would. It's not. It's not that it's a bad game. I just wouldn't give a fuck. That's true. I ain't gonna say a lot like I'd give a fuck. I wouldn't. Naruto got some good filler episodes, right? <laughs> So that's like yeah. saying yeah. that's yeah. like that's bro. like saying Naruto Neji is a filler fight, bro. Who cares? It's Naruto Neji. It's still a good fight. Oh my god, bro. I okay. bet. I bet. Okay, yeah, you should have did that. You okay, should have did. Bro. I got a bad girl. Okay, bro. This is crazy. Yo, shout out. <laughs> And this is why I don't want Vic. Never mind, man. Never mind. Let's move on. <laughs> what now? No, 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 no. This is it's, it's an evergreen video. It's made for fan reactions. Speak what you got to say. What was you about to say about Victor? Can Victor not go to the boring ass Spurs, bro? Oh I said it, bro. God. I said it, bro. God, I don't. Victor Wimpinyama and Keldon Johnson. Yo, stop it, bro. <laughs> Yo, stop. Stop. Can we, can we be. Can we pod for real? Bro, can we have real conversations? Can we, can we, can we have real conversations, dog? Ain't nobody trying to see the arguably the greatest prospect of all time in gray and black. I want to see Victor with Minyama. I'd rather him go there than like the Hornets. I want to see him get there, learn how to play good basketball. Boring, no, 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 don't coach. say good. Boring basketball. Oh dog. my <laughs> god. Bro, don't stop. Oh my god, bro. They be playing Curtis Blow at practice, bro. Yo, stop. <laughs> stop, bro. I like the give and go in that alley. <laughs> Stop, bro. Stop. But that's what I want to. I want to see mature basketball, man. I didn't know you hated Tim Duncan. This is all for the 08 ring, isn't it? This is all for that. Hey, you know what it is? It's kind of like a <laughs> when people try to hate on Mr. Beast. It's like it's just hard to find shit to hate on. You see what I'm saying? But best believe, what's that for? Hey, pss, fuck that motherfucker, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Fuck that motherfucker, Tim Duncan, man. God. We fucks with Tim Duncan. I will. I tell you what. Next time, chat. I'm gonna do my homework to actually argue it. It's on spot on like the live recording. I don't have these arguments ready to go. If I do my research, GGs, because I've I've watched Tim Duncan play basketball. You know, I'm gonna sit here and tell me that that motherfucker ain't got the <laughs> look. Oh, that motherfucker. That motherfucker. <laughs> Get in there, boogie talking shit. All right, All right give me give me the book. Tuh, tuh, dunk, tuh, and one. Shouldn't have did that. Oh, come on, bro. It was subtle. It was a subtle game. It weren't the sexiest. It had a post phase. But he he played defense. He ain't get the he ain't get the no 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 blocks. He got the two hand no good blocks. The old school blocks. Do you put the ball up? Mm 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 mm. You ain't going nowhere. He got those. He got those. I'm 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 just surprised for for a Kawhi hater. Yeah. Yeah, for it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Duncan wins. Sub up to the channel. Uh, we do these through the community tab. So if y'all want to be in the next one, uh, subscribe, turn on notice so y'all know when we put out the next one. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace. Peace.